top of the day to you guys. Well, believe it or not, that up there is blue sky. I haven't seen blue sky for a while, so what I plan to do with my blue sky is I have an idea. I'm going to go fly my idea seven because up there is the sun. The sun's out. There's a little bit of wind. Uh, this is a GPS drone, so um, I'm not sure how we're going to go in the wind. Probably not very well. But I haven't flown it yet, so it's uh, get to where we're going and get her up in the sky. Watching Billy, there's a big rig. I know you like your rigs. There's a big rig. Are you serious? What a train stop. Trains never come through here. Must be because I'm in a hurry. Hey folks, welcome. Well, it's been unboxed, the idea seven, so let's have a um let's have a fly of it, shall we? Now, I haven't flown this before at all, whatsoever, so this is going to be a completely uh, brand new flight, so we'll give you guys an indication of how easy or difficult it is to fly, uh, straight off the cusp, so let's check it out, shall we? I've read a couple of reviews of this drone, and um, uh, they're not very... Uh, not very good outcomes actually, even though it's a GPS drone. Um, they say that uh, it's quite hard to fly in the wind. There's a little bit of a breeze here today, so uh, apparently the GPS side of it isn't all that good. But we shall see for ourselves. Just a quick uh, tip guys, make sure your GPS on your mobile device is turned on, otherwise apparently the GPS side of things uh, doesn't work too well. Alright, that's um, up, down, tracking, stop. Yeah, let's just see what happens, shall we? Prepare to launch the Idea 7. Your standard lock-in. Lift them right down um, and take off, I suppose. Okay, it's pretty quiet flying. Doesn't seem too bad at this stage. Looks like it's uh, the breeze is taking it away a bit. So what we'll do is play around with the trimming, which um, I have no idea which one that is. But let's go for this one here. Okay. So the breeze is taking it away a bit, so I'm having to compensate for that. Um, are we recording? Start recording video. Okay, so we started recording video again. Okay. Get some height shortly and we shall get going with some modes here. This one here, so we can do waypoints here. Or we can use a phone to control it. This is a return to home, I believe. Oh, that looks pretty stable now. interesting you can still use the sticks uh, even if the joysticks are up what does the VR do oh okay 3d okay we're still recording so let's get some altitude on us and go for a fly I'm not too sure what the GPS side of things is doing here so yeah, if I let go the wind's just gonna take it so I'm gonna have to play with it a little bit 
You guys can see that from up there. Yeah, I think I'll turn it around and fly into the wind rather than have my back end facing the wind. Okay. This is a brand new battery in this one, guys, so I don't know how long she's going to last for, but they do say about 15 20 minutes. So, all going well, I will have to stop what's going on in this video and we'll fly it until it goes flat. Okay, how high can we go before it says no bingo? Alright, I'll just fight the wind here and uh, see if I can see how high we are. Altitude, so we're looking like uh, sitting on about 30 metres. Okay, it's pretty cool. Uh, distance, 2 metres, 3 metres from me. Well, I don't think that's accurate, but okay, we can see it sort of. <laughs> Unfortunately, when I look down at my phone, it tends to get blown away. Uh, picture quality is probably looking pretty cool. It's a pity I can't um, keep it stable. If I keep it stable, then we could um, probably get a few good shots in. 37% on the battery, by the look of it. Okay, what are we sitting on? 30 metres, 37 metres distance from me. Alright, I'm going to go up and see how high this thing will go before it stops. Up I go. 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 46, 47, 48, 50. And still climbing. Okay, 51. I'm still pushing it up. And it's beeping at me. It's saying... I have no idea what, but it's beeping. Okay, I might bring it down. Maybe it's telling me to stop going so high you fall. Yeah, it is. Okay, well, 50 metres, guys. And down I come. Let's just stop them there and have a swing around. Let's see if I can have a slow spin around without it moving too much. Video quality looks pretty good. See, that's just sitting there quite nicely now. I'm not actually touching it, so I'm sort of hoping the GPS is locked in. Let's flick over to the map, and the map's giving me nothing at all, so that's a bit of a pity. As I said, I haven't done any... Um, Look at that, that's just sitting there now. I'm not actually touching anything. It's sitting right where I've left it, that's pretty good. And there's a slight breeze too, so maybe the GPS has taken over. 35% battery. Let's bring it down. Yeah, as I said, there's a bit of a breeze and that's just staying right there. That's very impressive. That's excellent actually. So, hover mode. There you go guys, that's um, contrary to what some other reviews have stated, the GPS is crap, but um, 50 metres and no signal loss, and uh, the picture on the screen is pretty good, so you know what, form your own opinions. That's a, that's a win in my book, I don't care what anyone says, that's cool. It was a crappy day that it is. It did start off being sunny today, but... There's a bit of wind now, a bit overcast. This Idea 7 uh, looks like a bit of a winner. In fact, I'll probably put it... Uh, I'll probably put it right up there with my JD20 that I lost recently. Let's get a picture going there. Well, oh, she's going down. Oh, it's sort of doing what it wants now, but... Pretty cool looking drone, it looks pretty nice. It don't power off. Be careful when you stick your phone into um, this remote because it does tend to knock the on off button. You can see that there, I've got the camera tilted down fairly well. I'm pretty impressed with that, it's a nice little unit. Right, let's see if we can get some uh, features going here. 24%, so... And um, it's on fast speed, and... She looks quite a nippy little unit. Let's do a flyby. Yeah, there's a bit of wind now. However, it's holding its ground pretty well. I think we could be getting low on batteries now, so 
be interested to see what the stopwatch says. I've got 19% on the uh, on the app here. I'm wondering if it's oh, it's getting a bit blowy now. I haven't done any tricks or features yet, guys, mainly because I don't know uh, how to do them yet. <laughs> I've just come in completely dry, which is what I tend to do with drones. So I like to have a bit of a play first, see what's going on, and then I'll sort out uh, what the actual drone will do. And so that'll be in my next video. But if you have uh, had a look at this idea seven, you think, you know what? Looks pretty cool. Should I get it? Uh, first impressions. Uh, yeah, I reckon you probably should. It's pretty cool. Uh, signal strength, 50 meters. Um, no drama. It's got a few features. I don't know why the map's not working. I will look at that. Uh, I'm not. Oh, I just pushed something. I'm not sure what I've just pushed. For some reason, it's just spinning around in circles. <laughs> not too sure what's going on there. Uh, okay, what's uh, okay? Hover mode locked. Emergency stop. The plane will crash. Okay, I'll cancel that. That's no good. I'm not sure what mode I've got here. That's really cool. It's just sort of spinning around in circles. Okay. We could do this all day. It looks like the circles are getting bigger though. Oh, that's having a little bit of a spin around, wasting some batteries. I'll have another go at this map. Display map center, no coordinates. Okay. Joystick, transfer, parameters. Maximum stay time of every waypoint 50, 50 seconds. Mm, it's doing some big circles now. Have a look at that. That must be something to do with the GPS. I'm sure someone will tell me what's going on there. So you can set up your waypoints there. Okay, no, that's all cool. All right, what are you doing? Come back here. Thanks. Okay, I've got some flashing blue lights underneath, um, which would indicate low batteries, I would assume. We're still recording. Got eight minutes of recording time, so it's meant to fly for about 13 minutes or thereabouts, apparently. So we shall see. Well, things are going a bit funny now, so it's telling me. What's it telling me? It's funny, it beeps, but doesn't actually say anything. I think it's telling me it's about to land. Oh, it's sort of doing its own thing now. Well, let's bring it down. Yep, I think it's actually doing its own thing. Fourteen percent. I'm going to keep flying until it. Um, Lands itself. Now I've got the fall to the stick, fall to the left, and for some reason it's, um, if I correct it, it just takes off. So it could be something to do with low batteries. So I'm uh, still able to control it, doing what I'm doing. So let's just keep it flying until we run out of power, shall we? How about we use the sticks? What does that do? Uh, use the uh, phone. Oh no, actually, there you go. Just decide to correct itself. Like many of these drones guys, uh, when you run low on power, uh, they start to do some kooky things. So I suspect that's what's going on here. Let's get it low to the ground for when we uh, do run out of power. And whoop, up and down itself, up and down itself. <laughs> Stop it! What are you doing? 10%. So it's got their... 0.9, 0.8, 0 0.7 meters, so that's reasonably accurate. It's pretty cool. I imagine the GPS is working. I'd like to see a picture on the Jeep on the actual um, GPS screen. Not too sure why that's not happening, but okay. Well, I'm really fighting this. It's not really doing what I want it to do, but <laughs> oh, the six have gone all crazy. I'm going left to go down and right to go up and I'm throttling to turn it and here we go. Five percent. I'm 
okay. Yeah, it's not responding now. It's going clicking to go forward and it's not going forward. Let's just keep it down close to the ground here. Oh, can you come? Okay, 0%. So, 1%, 0 percent battery. So we're hovering on the brink of disaster. Get ready to stop that clock. Okay, it's stopping now. Awesome. Yeah, these beeps come up and um, yeah, I don't really know what the beeps mean. It's just beeping. I imagine it's beeping because it's got a low battery, but you'd think it would say something on the screen. But I'll, uh, I'll look at that further and I'll look at the maps and I'll have a look why that's not showing the actual map of, of where we are. It should be. We'll just turn that off. Um, I imagine when it lands, it will stop recording. Which it has. Okay. I'm not too sure how much of that recorded. Now my battery's saying 21%. It's not going to fly though. I think that's a glitch. There you have it folks. Uh, the Idea 7 GPS drone. A couple of little things to work out with the app. As I said, this is the first time I've um, actually flown it, so um, the battery's a little bit warm. It's the first time I've flown it, so yeah, it's bound to have some question marks at the end of it. But uh, all in all, I'm reasonably happy with this. It looks like a bit of a goer. Um, I'm going to stick my little um, 720 action cam on the base of this and do some flying with it. But the camera on this is actually a 720 camera, and uh, I think you'll all agree. When it's not shaking around, it's uh, actually a really good picture. It'll be really interesting to see how that turns out. So awesome. Thumbs up guys, I'll go and uh, do some reading of the manual <laughs> and uh, come out and have another play and show you some of these features and um, have a play around with what this drone can actually do uh, via the app rather than just having a fly. So this is just a bit of a battery test, a bit of a first flight, post unboxing and uh, terrific thanks for joining me and i'll see you in the next video okay stay safe see you up in the sky bye for now